Hey everybody, Darren Burroughs here. I just got back from my property in Hamilton, Ontario and had a chance to do a walkthrough. I can't wait to show you guys around. The plumbers have been in and roughed in the bathroom on the second floor. They've also started roughing in the plumbing in the basement. The framers have been in and opened up the entire first floor, so it's really open concept now, which we're excited about. Ben and I also discussed where we're at in the timeline and the budget on the entire project and how we wanna proceed with getting a tenant in on the main floor while we continue to work on the basement. Before we get into the video today, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the notification bell and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get into it. Ben, what's <laughs> happening? Come on in. It still smells so bad, eh? So bad. Whoa. Yeah, so we're going right to here. We're gonna bulk, we're gonna bring it down here and we're gonna drop it down right down here, right? Bulk this out a little bit. I was thinking they were gonna come here and then across, but that's easiest. Okay. Because then that's where the stack is now. Well we'll look at the We're gonna put the, the stack's not in the basement yet. Right. And if you look in here, we got the laundry hook up in there. Oh nice. Yeah. It's amazing. Because the laundry will sit here when we close it all in. Yeah. This looks really good. So we got everything that we wanted, right? Yeah. It's going to be so much easier, right? To now design this space. Yeah, like, and the, the duct will go, this will come out a little bit because we're going to, because that duct is going to be moving up. Here and across. And here and across. But that's okay. And when they come in, like, this will all just be one little thing here. Yep. You won't even, that's fine. No, it'll be nice. It'll be good. So those are all the vents, right? Yeah, that looks way better. Yeah. So where's the vent? Oh, because nothing comes into this before that. So right. you so don't... All vents up. Because the way it was done before, the vent and the stack were separate, mm -hmm. which is... Stupid. Yeah. There's nothing about it. Belt and suspenders. Mm -hmm. So now they, <laughs> now he's pulled off of here and vented everything separately and yeah. still have the vent line down in the basement. And the roof's, the roof's getting done next week, late next week, and then he'll vent everything out then. And then he vented this, this, oh yeah, he's got yeah. yeah, and a clean out. Yeah, because the P-trap goes below the joist, yeah. clean out is right there. This is the vent for this? Yep. This, oh, like it, it this comes one, in below the trap. Yeah, below. yeah, this one vents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no problem. So this looks awesome, I love it. And it's, it's gonna be good. so nice. To have yeah, electrical's coming next week. Oh, and he just strapped this out, so it's two by four. Yeah. And then I'm guessing he structured it all in the basement. He did. Yeah, electrical's gonna come and rewire the top unit. So we're gonna have to figure out where we want switches and, and everything here. This we'll have to deal with, but we can always put um, this in the island. And if not, we can always just have a floor vent. And then yeah, electricians can figure this all out. But yeah, we'll go. As we said, we'll go. Couple pot lights in here, six, yeah. three on each side, because you don't with the window, you don't need that much light in here. No, I know we talked about this floor before, trying to save it and patch it in. I think that we bring. I think we go. Uh, we get three quarter inch um, plywood, bring it up to the same level, and lay three eighths. Plywood. Sorry, three eighths, and lay vinyl throughout the whole main level. Yeah, I just think this is going to be too hard to lay over. And it's not great. It's not good. Like, you, like it, there's a lot of bounce in it. And by the time we right. try to refinish this and tie in, for the cost of laying new plywood in this section and taking out all the creaks and the cracks, yeah, and then going all new vinyl plank on this floor, it'll probably cost us less money to go vinyl plank. It'll be more durable, and I think it'll look better. It'll be easier to maintain, and it's going to be great for a rental or a for resale, depending on which we decide to do. I mean, anytime you put hardwood in the kitchen, you're at risk of warping with the moisture in the water. Yeah. I like the vinyl, waterproof. It's a lot easier to work with. It's quick, it's less expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Okay, cool. So we'll just run it all the way through. We'll keep the tile in the bathroom. If we're doing vinyl plank, we don't have to worry about tiling here no. as well. We no, can we just, just go vinyl, vinyl all, the way, all the way through. He framed it a bit oddly, but. It's because he kept the top, the existing top plate. And he just Over here, yeah. Yeah. It. yeah. That top plate carries all the way in. Yeah, I guess he could have just cut it. Yeah, he kept the top one. He could have gone two, double two by eights. You know what, though? It's it, fine. It's, it's I, not the end of the world. Yeah. And he redid all this, too, which is nice. He put joist hangers on everything. Mm -hmm. So, because that was kind of... Because this is where the crack was, right? In yeah. the ceiling? Yeah, it was a bit of a dog's breakfast there. I don't know if it, that's low, Derek. It is low. 
Now, you know what? It's actually not that low. We could get a, a boss. get a gooseneck. I think I've got mine set at like 80 now because people are like their shower heads taller. It's not the end of the world. It, it's 72, which is like pretty standard. It's six feet above. It, if if we, you're six foot two or six foot three and you're standing in the tub. If, you, if we get a gooseneck that gets it up four or five inches, I agree. We're good. There are 20 inch vanities online that I saw today. And we've got 45 inches to the tub. This is super tight here, right? But we have 20 inch vanity options. But this one's super narrow. Like we get have a 20 inch vanity that comes out to. There's lots of there's lots of depth. Yeah, like we should have an 18 inch vanity, and at least then we have more storage. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's take a look at the cost of a new one because the mirror's all kind of crappy too. Right? It's not odd size. And we're we're just gonna paint this out, right? Yep. Do we have any idea what color? We'll just go like white or neutral. Like we're gonna have to like kind of stay with these tones in this bathroom, right? Because we go with a gray vanity. I guess it might tie in here. But the floor is kind of brown and crappy colors. I think we go with an off white. Yeah, Van Yeah, yeah. And a white toilet. Yeah, yeah that's good. We yeah. want something nicer in terms of white fixture. Not cold up here. <laughs> Holy <laughs> man. Jeez Louise. Wait till the middle of the summer. We changed our minds. We did. Halfway through this, which I love this layout now. Yeah, because it's great. We ended up deciding, because we were gonna do the door here, remember? So I love putting the wall here. The vanity can now sit on this wall, and then we'll have two doors, basically access from this side and that side. Yeah. So it's it's great, because now we can tuck the vanity here. You walk in, the toilet's gonna be back here. It is a little off center, isn't it? Well, I have the, see here's the, this is the joist right here, right? Right, right, there, right pretty much in the center. So he got the closest that we can go without being tucked in that alcove. So it's it's a little off center, but we don't have much of a choice because the joist. Yeah, they do have offset um, flange though. Still, you're still gonna run into the right into the corners at the side of the joist with it because the offset's not enough offset that it's gonna gonna miss it. Yeah, I can talk it to. It might him. give us an inch. And I can talk. Off, I'll, I'll we're talk. Not to that him. far off, right? Yeah. I'll right talk to him about an offset. Twenty and a quarter. Yeah, it wouldn't take him much to change it. Even if we got it to nineteen, which is another inch and a quarter. Gives us a little bit more clearance. And we're like only an inch off center. Okay. Which is, it's just going to be a little bit weird to the eye. This is. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> this is the, the dilemma up here. And I think that we've got, we did the best workaround that we could possibly do. At the end of the day, it's not going to look that weird to the eye because you're not going to be able to see it coming up the stairs. No, you won't see it. We'll just turn it a little bit. Right? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> As a, and our whole goal was to have a functional bathroom up here yeah. for the two bedrooms. And I think we've done that without taking space from any of the rooms. Yeah, I mean, he got it as close as he possibly could. The other option is we have Paolo take this joist out and, we'll just move it and over go to the, the other side. side of this. Or we can leave it in and, and then we just it knock it and we just sister it. That's not, that's probably the easiest. These, these are two by eights. Yeah. Just well, let's just do that because then we, I just think it's going to be weird to have that thing off center. And then he doesn't have to re-plumb anything. All he has to do is just chuck the it. hole over and shift it a bit over yeah. by like an inch and a half. And then Good we can do like a, a really, like I think I looked at those, like we can do a six or inch yeah. vanity or something. Yeah. But now we can do like an actual vanity. Size wise, like, yeah. I just like width wise, we can do a nice one. It doesn't have to be that deep. Because the nice thing is, from a storage perspective up here, we could have some shelves right here. Yeah, I love right. that we've gained that extra space. I mean, yeah. we kind of didn't even know about that. You basically get a bathroom with a linen closet in it. You can hang true. like your towels, your sh like sheets, whatever you want to do. We've gained some storage. We'll put shelving all the way up from like right here, one, two, whatever. Yeah, it's really going to make this like a, a really nice, like usable second floor. We can't put a backflow over in this area because this is active drain. When we, when we do this, Exit, right? We're gonna have a floor. You have to have a floor drain. Mm -hmm. We can, which is nice. We can pick up the one that's already out there from the, the tunnel. We don't have to do a new one, and it's active right out. So yeah, we tie into that for the for the for the floor drain out there. No problem. That's easy. This is a clean out here. Yeah, but it's right in the middle of the entrance. Yes. So I asked them to move the clean out. He's like, okay. We can put it in in the closet. But we need backflow prevention down here. We do. But from where? 
So everything in the basement has to have backflow prevention on it. This is the clean out, which mm -hmm. is fine. Yeah. That's all fine. Cause it doesn't matter if it backs up, right? Yeah. But what we need to do is we need to protect all of the basement fixtures, this bathroom with a backflow valve. And he'll just put a backflow right here, which will be in the closet, which is perfect. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. then we can cut a little hole in the flooring in the closet yeah, and yeah. access it. Yeah. That's the only issue there is that floor drain. Sometimes the inspectors will let you do them in the actual, like in the actual floor drain itself. You know what I'm yeah, talking you can, about? You can get the floor drains that have those it. Things. Yeah, I have one in one of my other properties. Because this is just going to be like right in the middle of the walkway. Unless he's able to move this over to here again a little bit more. Yeah. Because then it would be in the closet again. If you could even get it into here. Then we can leave it open. Let's and it would be right underneath the washer dryer, which would be great. I mean, chipping out this little piece of concrete is nothing. Yeah, he's got his 18 year old son working with him. He loves to, doing that. And then everything down here is isolated and everything else can stay the same. And we're good. And these ones can, this one can tie in. That's it can be up in the cabinet. And as long as the laundry and everything ties into this three inch line, you put one backflow valve there, one backflow valve there. We're and we're good. Go. Perfect. One thing he did say, it's a long run for the hot water tank from the corner over. Well, but I still think is. that we need to look at moving the water line over to that corner over there and doing a three quarter inch water line. Okay, I'll talk to him. So I just think to and get he's gonna it run that corner because that's where the fridge is gonna be. Yeah. To get it over there, then it's a short run to the hot water tank and then we can feed the distribution throughout the house and the pressure's gonna be better and everything's cool. gonna be better. Um, it's more money. He's but, gonna run separate water lines for down here and upstairs. I mean, if we have a three quarter water line. Doesn't matter, but we, th we, we talked about it because of the- With the half, half inch, inch line, yeah. And this, this is good here. He just, I was gonna say, we can tuck to the bulkhead Right, because we're just going to extend that. Yeah. He did a really nice job, actually. It's great that he did, because he did a nice job of just getting everything in the floor cavities. He's Plumbers awesome. Plumbers always want to drop things below the floor dress, and they're like, that's the only way it can work. And you're like, no, it can always work another way, so. Yeah, no, he's, Darren's really good. Is his name Darren? Yeah. Well, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything else? I mean, we electrical's know. a disaster, but yeah. we can't do anything. The city ain't moving anywhere, right? Like, you can't, we can't get the, a separate meter right now because the city's not doing anything unless it's an emergency. So talk to my electrician. He's gonna they're gonna come, you know, clean everything up and wire everything in from upstairs so that we can like we talked about get that moving. Yeah. It's coming along. It's moving. It's looking great. It smells better down here than it does upstairs. That's not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that most recent walkthrough of our property in Hamilton, Ontario. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram or check out my website at darrenvoros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.